Hey guys, Proper English here. Today I'm going to teach you a little bit about binary, and we're going to do this in this uh, testificate village right here. All right. So, the first question that uh, that I think I should answer is, what is binary going to do for you? How's it going to help you enjoy Minecraft even more? How's it going to make your redstone creations better? You know, how's it going to help you to have some more fun? Well, the uh, <laughs> So if you've been watching my videos, you've seen that I do a lot of math stuff. And, you know, that's not for everyone. Not everyone is going to have fun building those types of creations. I do, but you know, it's not for everyone. But that's not what the limit is. You know, people think math and, and they kind of limit it to, uh, to something that's boring. But, um, but say you want to build a mini game, okay? Well, everyone likes playing a mini game. You know, you uh, you set something up that uh, that people will have fun with and will be able to play. And when you're playing a game, a lot of the time you want to be able to keep score. Well, it turns out that binary is a fantastic way to uh, to keep score in in a game. And you know, in some of the uh, the tutorials to come, I'll show you um, how to do some of that stuff. But I think the first place to start is with just understanding the number system itself and uh, and why it's useful in redstone. So when we see redstone, we see on and off. So right now this line is off. Turn it on. There you go. So in binary, you think ones and zeros. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to say off is 0 and on is 1. Okay? And that's what's going to allow us to use binary. And uh and yeah, it's really that simple. That's why it's it's so useful in redstone. That's one of the things that makes redstone awesome. I, I mean, I love it. I think it's amazing that we can build the things that we do in Minecraft using this you know this simple system over here. So before we get into binary, let's just take a quick review of the decimal system. Okay, that's the one you're familiar with. It goes from zero to nine. Okay, and. Uh, and it works with powers of 10. Okay, so a power of 10, we think, uh, so for the ones place, that's 10 to the 0. 10 to the 0 is 1. For the tens, it's 10 to the 1. Hundreds is 10 squared, so that's 10 times 10 equals 100. 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000, that's 10 to the 3rd, and so on until you, you know, you, you just keep going. Now, let's think about how this works for a second. So in decimal, we can only store, the, the largest number that we can store in any place is a 9, okay? So what if we're going to do addition here? Well, we're going to add uh, 9 plus 1. So now we've got one more than we can store in the 1's place. So what we do is we start over in the 10's. So 1 plus 9 is 10. So that's, that's carrying, right? So we carry over to the next place. Now in binary, we're talking base two, okay? So we're talking powers of two. So, and so anything to the zero power is one. So two to the zero is one. That's our, our first place over here. Two to the one is two. So anything to the power of one is itself. Then we come over here now it's 2 to the second power. So that's 2 times 2, and we get 4. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. That's 2 cubed. And it goes, you know, and so on and so on until we get over here, 2 to the 7th. This is 128. So I've got, I've got 8 places over here. And, uh, and you, you might hear me uh, refer to these as bits in the, in the video, uh, just out of habit. But I'll try to refer to them as places just to... Uh, to use terminology that you're familiar with right now. So, so every time we move over in a place, we're doubling, okay? Just like over here in decimal, every time we move over in a place, we're multiplying by 10. And, uh, and so let's take a look at that. So let's turn the first place on. So this has a value of one, all right? So this is a bunch of zeros and then a one and that's equal to one well let's say we uh, we do this we do one plus one all right that's we're 
that's going to mean that we're going to need to carry because the highest value we can hold in any place is a one. All right, so just like the highest value we can hold in uh, any place in the decimal system is, is a nine, the highest value that we can hold in any place in binary is a one. So if we do one plus one, we have to carry over and that's two. So that's one, zero. Now, uh, now just to, to uh, relate this to something you might have seen, there's a, uh, a t-shirt that, uh, that I've seen plenty of times where it says, there are one zero types of people in the world, those who understand binary and those who don't. And the, and the joke is one zero is base two for two. All right, so, uh, so yeah, now you can see those t-shirts and uh, at least by the end of this video, you will be one of those two types of people, the one that, that understands binary. All right, so let's, uh, let's keep going here. So we're at two. Well, let's count up one more. So the next place, where, the next way to count up is we add one here. So now we've got the one's place on and the two's place on, all right? So that's gonna be three. So two plus one is three. Now, now if we're going to add one to this, well, we can't add one here, or we, you know, we can't hold another one here. So we'd have to carry over to two. Well, we're carrying into two. We can't hold another one in the two place. So what we need to do is carry over to four, okay? So we just went from three to four. So four is one, zero, zero. If we're gonna count to five, we turn the one on, all right? Now if we're going to count to six, well, we're gonna add one here, but we can't hold another one here. So we come over here, two and four is six. Then seven, and then eight. And it's that simple. Binary is, you know, it's, yeah, you see it and it lo might look intimidating, but it's really not too hard to follow. And, uh, and I hope I'm being totally clear uh, when explaining this, but if you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments because, you know, I think it's useful to know. And, uh, and I think it's also kind of cool that you can play a game, have fun and, you know, and learn these, these cool re real world things, right? You know, I'm sure uh, sure most of your friends don't understand binary, but thanks to Minecraft, you you can you can you're gonna pick up on it really easily, and hopefully soon enough you'll be uh, you'll be using binary to help to help you make some uh, some awesome redstone creations. All right, so I I think that's enough for for this lesson. We're gonna get into some more advanced concepts next time. And then we'll uh, we'll start getting into the circuitry that you might use to uh, to count. Well, I think the first thing that I'll that I'll teach you, the first application of binary, will be a binary counter because that's something that'll be super useful for uh, for anyone who's looking to uh, to make a game. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Like I said, if you have any questions, I want you to check uh, to post something in the comments and. I'll keep an eye on them and I will answer, uh, answer any of your questions to the best of my ability. So, uh, so yeah, you are one of the, uh, the types of people who understand binary now. Awesome. I'll see you guys next time.